today we have a 2009 Kia Borrego. This is an EX Limited V8. This is fully, fully, fully loaded. As you can see, it's got a nice chrome grill, very aggressive headlights, with some fog lights down below. You have the 18 inch chrome wheels on this one with the Hankook tires. As you can see, it has the limited badge right there on the door. Side marker lights on the mirror. Nice roof rack. Some chrome trim on the door handles. Again, the 18 inch wheel. Kind of give you a view down, down this side here. It's a very nice vehicle. Rides excellent, has lots of power. Uh, you have a little bit of room back here with the third row up. It does have seating for seven. Underneath here you have a little bit of storage. Your, your tires, tools are right here as well. And then there's some little tie downs that flip up from right here. You have a plug in right there. Now this seat does fold down and it's actually very easy to do. You just pull on this handle, kind of flip it forward like that. This seat will do it as well and the second row will do it. Um, I only have, just wanted to do that one to show you. It does have the hard plastic backing. So you're not going to rip up any carpet that would usually be on the back of a seat. So we'll pull this down. I don't know if you heard that when it closed, but it does have a mechanism that brings it in very tight. So you're not going to have any wind noise or dirt coming through these cracks back here. EX V8. You can see that it has backup sensors right there in the bumper, as well as a backup camera. And I'll show you that in a minute. That's really cool has a tow hitch back here that's covered by this piece so it looks like it's all clean and finished right now but you can just pop that off and there's a tow hitch right behind it some reflectors in the rear nice tail lights you have privacy glass in the rear so we'll move on to the second row here you have seating for three in the middle so you have one you have a three point seat belt that comes out from right here that would be for the middle passenger now this seat, you can see I've got it pretty much straight up and down right now. That's its first locking. You can see I'm trying to pull on that. You can actually recline this. So you've got a bunch of different settings. You can lean it back that far. So you can see there's a lot of angle right there. People can get really reclined, really relaxed back here on long trips. There's a flip down armrest right here. So you've got padding in the middle for their elbows. And then flip up cup holder right here map pockets in the back of the seats and you actually have temperature control for the rear here heating uh, cooling so you can set it up either way fan controls and then however they like the air to blow out so you can actually blow it in your face your feet in your face or just your feet then you've got vents up in the ceiling there and then there's some that come out from under the seats that you can't actually see it says the infinity stereo system you have cup holders down on the doors right here for bigger items like water bottles. Leather along the door with the brushed aluminum look trim right here. There's actually tweeters for the rear as well. Um, seating for the back, or sorry, heated seats in the rear, which is a very uncommon item. That only comes on very, very well equipped high end luxury vehicles. You have power windows, power locks, and power mirrors all right there. Two position memory seating for the driver's seat. And it'll actually remember the key that you're using as well. Again, infinity speakers up front here. Another cup holder down there. This vehicle does have ABS, traction control, and electronic stability control. It gives you the option to turn that electronic stability control off if you'd like. It does have a downhill assist system. So, like on the Land Rovers, that was their big claim to fame. When you're going down a steep hill, basically you're going to be able to concentrate on the steering wheel. You're going to be able to concentrate where to put the vehicle. It's going to slow you down by itself. Power pedals, automatic four-wheel drive system, and you do have the option to lock it into four high or four low. Steering wheel mounted audio controls right here. You do have a telescoping power uh, steering column, cruise control, I'm going to close this door up here so we don't get that annoying beeping when I turn the key on. You have navigation, it has Sirius satellite radio, I'm going to turn this on in a second so we can get an idea of what it looks like. So let's do that. 
Okay, so you've got a BMW style key. See this thing? Put that into this slot here. And you can pop it in or pop it out like that. Put your foot on the brake. Here it start up. Very nice gauge cluster. As you can see, I'm almost out of gas here. Turn this fan down, turn down the volume a little bit. Okay, so you do have an automatic temperature control. You see it has a clock readout right there. Automatic temperature control for the driver and the passenger, so you can set up different temperatures. As you can see, that's changing right there, so 72. And I've got low on the driver's side, so I can click that up a little bit if I'd like. Okay, so you have, obviously we have Sirius. There's a nice readout. Touch screen. You can go categories. You can see it's Howard Stern, Playboy Radio. There's lots of different categories there. AM, FM, CD. It does have an auxiliary plug-in right here for an iPod just a regular auxiliary plug-in so you could actually integrate your iPod completely it'll do your playlists it'll do everything um, all you have to do is get a cable from our parts department and it'll integrate the entire iPod close that up makes it clean you have uh, heated front seats you have a low setting and a high setting for both sides sportmatic transmission this is actually a six-speed automatic so with the V8 it's actually a 4.6 liter rated at 330 horsepower. Uh, you can shift through it like manually. Um, it, it makes it really fun to drive. You can turn off the parking sensors in the rear. Let's get to this rear view camera here. Put it in reverse. You can see a camera just popped up on the rear view mirror. Very cool idea. Put it back in a park, it goes away. So that's a very nice feature. You have a flip down uh, sunglass pocket here, sunroof, it's actually a one touch open, you do have to hold it to close. I think Kia actually, I think they hit it on the head with this one, I'm going to hit the button here, pop the key out, i got to show you one more cool feature. Okay. So I've got the key, I'm going to put this in my pocket, if you can kind of see the reflection here. Put it in my pocket. Now you see this button? Now it's locked. Push it again. Unlocked. Don't even need to use your keyless entry system, it's got the button right there on the door. Locked it again. You can see the... Very cool feature. Um, like I was saying, Kia, I think they hit it on the head with this one. It kind of came out at the wrong time of year. It came out right in the middle of 08 when we were having $5 a gallon gas prices going on. SUVs weren't really selling. But I'm thinking for 2009, this is, this is a real winner. It does have a 7,000 pound towing capacity. It's a beautiful looking SUV. Has plenty of power, great off-road capabilities. All the luxury items you can ask for, and we've got one. If you have any questions, please give us a call.